Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are going to give you life lessons from your inner troll. Yes, you heard me right, child, from your inner troll. We are all everything. We're multi-dimensional beings and everything that exists, exists inside of us. So for those of you who are new to my channel, the Jungle Beauty Goddesses are fabric sculptures that I actually created myself as I was making the dolls. They had so many messages for me, which led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And the book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess oracle cards. My Jungle Beauty Goddess dolls are pretty magical and so are the messages. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you selected the grayish blue butterfly for the message, the lesson from your inner troll, this reading is for you. First I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you a message from the star alien being or additional information from your inner troll. I find this so interesting, like a troll. Oh, let's see what your lesson your troll want you to know, child. <clears throat> the first card I have for you from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara. And she says the answer is in the questions. Oh, Jesus. So basically, a troll is a person who likes to make comments or say things. We're going to go with the there's actually two meanings to trolls and I think that it's going to come out in the <clears throat> in the reading but basically the answer to the question so the questions that you have for other people are really things you probably need to look within your heart and ask yourself why am I asking other people these things so let's not just say that you know being a troll is a bad thing but sometimes we look for other people to give us answers to our own life but the truth is we need to look within our own heart and figure out what it is 
what is best for us. So the next time you have a desire to say, well, why is this like such and such? Look it up or ask yourself, maybe you are, maybe you have the answer. Maybe we don't need to. It, it's not just about the Internet, but it's about even sometimes, you know, students will ask a question like, what about this? They, they want to trip you up. But really, the truth is you are a master and you need to if you're asking the question, you have the power to answer that question. The next card I have for you for the lesson from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you is, from your inner troll, is health is wealth. So your inner troll is pretty much, oh my God, so the troll is like a person who's in a cave or they live under a bridge and they don't really take care of themselves. Oh my God. Your lesson from your inner troll is telling you that when you take care of yourself, your own health, when we like exercise, when we drink enough water, when we take care of ourselves, that is our real wealth. So the energy of looking to be nourished or replenished by other people outside of ourselves depletes us. So we should really focus on our own health. So health is wealth. So taking care of ourselves and minding our own business is really the thing we need to focus on. The next lesson I have for you from your inner troll is again we're pulling in Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, which makes sense. Since she represents the the uh, throat chakra, which has to do with her ability to speak, uh, seek the truth. She says, gather information with an open mind. Again, your, your inner troll is like, look, you know, trolls are usually people who are always um, looking to confuse other people with their questions or make think comments that are off key or to kind of say things that are really, but you know, we all have a troll in us. You know, do you understand that? Like, we all have an inner troll. Like sometimes I want to write TV shows like and make my comments like why did such and such do this? You know what I'm saying? But the inner the lesson from your inner troll is gather information with an open mind. Like as opposed to going to um, again seek truth or seek knowledge from other people, or we need to really like open our mind up and say well you know what maybe the reason this person on this show is like this is because maybe they had a difficult childhood or maybe this person doesn't want to share their business with other people so basically when we open our mind up and put ourselves in other people's shoes and then we would curb or maybe not ask so many questions or not make you know, maybe not tweet that, maybe not say that. So our inner nerd really wants us to have a more open mind and to be able to look at a situation from another person's perspective. That is the lesson from your inner nerd from this particular card. And the last card I have for you with the lesson from your inner nerd is from Jungle Beauty Goddess, the me. And your inner troll, did I say nerd? I mean your inner troll, child. Sorry, my bad. Um, your inner troll message to you is you are one with all that is. Oh my God. So, you know what this reminds me of? So this reading is for our inner troll. The part of us that wants to tweet to our favorite TV shows. We want to tell people how we feel. We want to like let them know that like, what they're doing is wrong, right? Your inner troll lesson to you is that everything we say to other people that we we are ourselves like if we think somebody else is stupid well we're stupid too we're all we're all trolls we're all we all make mistakes and sometimes when you're looking at people's lives from the outside we think we have all the answers we think oh if that was me i would get tell him to get lost if that was me i wouldn't take that off of him oh i can't believe that person is doing that your inner troll is saying look mind your own business gather information with an open mind put yourself in the other person's shoe because your truth is your truth from your perspective but if you were actually living that person's life maybe you would see things in a different way 
and especially the card that says you are one with all that is it means that we're all you know been that girl who got her heart broken or been that person who maybe you know made that mistake you know we've all done it all we've all made mistakes none of us are perfect and that we should really be careful at how we judge and view other people so that is the big message and then when you when we take care of ourselves our health is our wealth basically we don't make ourselves look more important or more valuable by hurting or putting down other people not saying that you're doing these things but this is a lesson from your inner troll is that our health is our wealth meaning that when we take care of ourselves when we understand that we're one with everybody else and that we're all just kind of hitting it and making the best of it then our inner troll you know it's it's healthy like our inner troll goes away and goes back under the bridge or in the cave and really I think that is the message from your the biggest mess lesson from your inner troll is that your troll really just wants to you know be left alone and leave other people alone but I'm gonna see if there's an additional message from your inner troll so let's pull in the adventuring the orange adventuring star alien being thank you so much for coming. so beautiful is there an additional message from this person's inner troll the troll is a mythological being that lives under a bridge or a cave it is either It is a part of the human psyche that wants to live alone, well, it just wants to be left alone, while at the same time wanting people to acknowledge its existence. <clears throat> there is a troll in every human that wants to be left alone, that wants to be respected, that wants to be able to make mistakes and contemplate them in private. The next time you want to judge or criticize someone or think that you could have done it better or said it better, just know that all humans are doing the best that they can. This is the lesson from your inner troll. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple butterfly, this reading is for you for the message from your inner troll. Let's see what the lesson is from your inner troll. And after we go over the cards, we'll have an additional message from your inner troll from this beautiful Lapis Lazuli alien being. So first, I'm going to go over the cards. <clears throat> the first card I have for you from your lesson, or the first card I have for you from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty God oh from the Jungle Beauty Goddess's father to matter and his message is acknowledge your shadow self. Oh my God, I love this card. See this is how I know I tapped into the right energy. Because your shadow self is a part of us that we suppress, a part of us that is not accepted by society, right? So your inner troll is saying to acknowledge your shadow self and your our troll is a part of our shadow self uh, shadow self that part of us that we you know our jealousies our insecurities all the things that we don't like about excel about ourselves we cannot heal what we don't feel i know that's a very cliche saying but if we don't acknowledge that we have this part of our personality we won't be able to 
evolve and become more compassionate and empathetic and loving. So for anybody who's watching this video who's thinking, I don't have an inner troll, you know, I would never, you know, not mind my own business. I've never just wanted to like write somebody and say, oh, that was just done what you did. Or we, you know, or say something negative. We, we all, I don't know. I'm just going to say, I have. Child, I can watch Sean in a minute and just be like, oh, I, gosh, I just want to write them and tell them that that was stupid or if I, you know, like, you, you know what I mean? Completely none of my business, but I definitely want to, you know, jump in and, and may, even though I wouldn't say something extreme to her, like somebody else, but you still hurt people with our own judgments and criticisms. But if we first have to acknowledge that part of ourselves and sometimes you know it's good for us maybe we when we acknowledge that part of us we don't have to go in and say something evil or something really super hurtful but maybe sometimes we grow from each other's truth you know i don't know but acknowledge that part of you so that you can heal it the next card i have for you for the lesson from your inner troll is from journey beauty goddess sahara and her message to you from your inner troll is Clarity is magic. Again, let's pull it into that. Acknowledge your shadow self. Clarity. Be clear about who you are. Sahara represents our throat chakra and our ability to see the truth, speak the truth, know the truth, to have to, to use discernment and communicating with people and being clear about ourselves. Like some people, to me, what's really interesting about your hand so far is that some people are very passive aggressive because they are out of tune with the part of them that's not perfect so you know people who give you those sideways compliments or sideways insults like it's a compliment mixed with an insult and you don't really know which one it is because it's so twisted yeah like yeah clarity is magic sometimes your inner troll lesson to you is you need to be really clear in how you communicate with people and sometimes you know you know if you're gonna throw a dagger just you know just it's better to at least be honest as opposed to say well i'm, I'm perfect I would, I would never say anything to hurt anybody i would never you know no but it, but it's saying like maybe be a little bit clear about your feelings and what you want to say to people and you know that type of thing so the next card i have for you from your the message or lesson from your inner troll is from jungle beauty goddess sahara again we're pulling in the throat chakra you the truth that's communication use your intuition to acquire more information so listen we have two cards from jungle beauty goddess sahara who represents our throat chakra which has to do with our ability to speak the truth hear the truth acknowledge the truth it's all about communication all about the day wednesday is the day of communication child. but that's a whole nother point but the point is your inner troll is saying that you need to be clearer in how you communicate with people that you also need to acknowledge your shadow self so your troll is like yeah child just be just you know, it's better to just be very direct and and be compassionate, compassionate and empathetic, but to acknowledge that you have not been communicating as clearly and directly as you could. I have one more card for you from your inner troll. And this card is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you from your inner troll is be unpredictable. So this is pretty interesting because we're pulling in the sacral chakra, which is the second chakra, which has to do with our emotions, right? It has to do with our ability to um, be honest with people in terms of how we truly feel. So I'm going to say when it, your hand is saying, when it says be unpredictable, it wants you to acknowledge your true feelings and maybe take a risk and be vulnerable and honestly tell someone you know this hurt my feelings like don't just um like i'm getting the impression from this hand that you may be a person who have difficulty uh communicating exactly how you feel because you don't want to hurt people's feelings but people's feelings are still hurt because you know how 
I, I'm not, I'm not, listen, this hand may not be for you, but I promise you it is for someone. So please do not be offended. And I definitely don't want to curve the truth because I don't want to offend anyone. So the direct message that's coming to, in to me from spirit is that you are a person who may have difficulty communicating your truth because you don't want to hurt people's feelings, but you, you end up hurting their feelings anyway because the message comes out twisted. So your inner troll wants to be acknowledged and say, look, yeah, I really do feel some kind of way. And once you admit that you have these feelings and you're very clear about those feelings, now you can come from a place of vulnerability and say, you know, it really hurts my feelings when you talk down to me. It really, I really don't, feel comfortable when you speak to me in this tone or I really you know I feel jealous when you talk to other people in a very flirtatious way in my presence and this is what your inner troll your inner troll is saying look acknowledge that we have these feelings of vulnerability that we have these feelings of insecurity that we have we want your inner troll wants you to communicate more of how you truly feel as opposed to sugarcoating it and take ownership for those emotions so the next time somebody say something that really bothers you it wants you to be unpredictable it wants it says clarity is magic it wants you to be uh, very clear about your emotions acknowledge that part of you acknowledge your shadow self that is insecure that's jealous that it you know that worries about how other people are going to feel are going to feel and just speak your truth because you're really pulling in a lot of throat chakra here and it says use your intuition to acquire more information so basically you know you have a knowingness about what is right and what is wrong and what is really going on but use this information use the self-knowledge to communicate clearly to other people so now i'm going to uh listen to the message i'm so excited the additional message from the lapis lazuli star alien being from your inner troll thank you so much so we are going to give you any additional message you may have from your inner troll is there any additional information for this person a lesson from their inner troll Human beings were meant to have a plethora of emotions. Humans have learned to associate negative emotions or with not being a good person, with good and bad, with evil. But there is nothing wrong with acknowledging when we feel hurt, or when we feel disappointed, when we feel insecure, when we feel jealous, when we feel judged. There is nothing wrong with acknowledging our truth without it being perceived as negative. Most people will never admit that they feel jealous because they feel that people will look down on them that they feel insecure. Most people would never admit that they feel sad maybe if their best friend was getting married because it would make them look like a bad person. The feelings that we ignore and repress are the feelings that bring about some of the most atrocious and hurtful incidents in human relationships. If we acknowledge our feelings, we give the other person an opportunity to feel close to us. Never be afraid to speak your truth in a compassionate and loving way to another human. Don't worry about how the message is going to be received. How the message is going to be received is not your responsibility. Just make sure that you express your real truth in a way that's compassionate and loving and vulnerable. It's not a bad thing to say to someone, you know, I was jealous when you got the job, but I really want you to have it and I'm so happy for you and you deserve it. 
because the minute you say it, you no longer feel that way. But to suppress all of your negative emotions is really what creates trolls. The troll is the isolated part of us under the bridge in the cave who was too afraid to really speak his or her emotions. So it comes out in really inappropriate times. So don't be afraid to be vulnerable and speak from your heart. That was a really good message. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the olive green butterfly, this message is for you from your inner troll. First I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you the message from your star alien being. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Cyanide and her message to you from your inner troll is life is a mystery, embrace your feminine mystique. The next card I have for you from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaldi. And her message to you is life is not meant to be fair, it's meant to strengthen your courage. The next card I have for you from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chaldi. We're pulling in a lot of third chakra energy here. And it says some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. And the last card I have for you <clears throat> from your uh, inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy. My intuition for this hand <clears throat> is that your inner troll is saying that you are not, you're not hanging around the right people. <clears throat> I think we all have this. I have friends where at work, where in meetings, we, you know, the things that we say, the whispers that we make to each other. Some people bring out our inner troll. They do. Everyone doesn't bring out your inner troll, but there are certain people in our life that when we're with them, our inner troll, like not only does he, he or she come out, the horns grow too. It's just something about being around them that make us feel alive. You know what I'm saying? And your inner troll says some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. This card in this particular hand is saying sometimes the people you know around us that we love and they're so and it's so fun sometimes when we you know snicker and we make fun of people because we're with you know we're with our posse we're with the people that make us feel good you know who laugh at our jokes <clears throat> they're really not our friends they you know they're our they're our inner book they're they are our inner troll friends you know what i mean and um maybe this is if you your your inner troll is saying look yeah maybe we should rethink this whole thing about the people that we are snickering with maybe at work even on the internet you know what i mean or even in, we all have that but i think your inner troll wants you to i don't know if they want you to be aware of it it says life is not meant to be fair it's meant to strengthen your courage i think that from what i'm picking up from this hand is that your inner troll feel like sometimes we feel like well you know I, you know, I really need this inner troll buddy because they're like my buddy at work. It's not fair that I get the bad shift. It's not fair that, you know, like sometimes when we have that person that we get to, you know, complain to and whine about, what, you know, our jobs or why things aren't working out. It's, there's a pleasure that we get from that camaraderie of that, you know, that back and forth. And... <clears throat> Your inner troll is saying to you that, you know, life wasn't ever meant to be fair. It's, it, 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 life was built to make us stronger, to make us more intelligent, to help us evolve. So your inner troll is saying, look, kind of watch the company that you're keeping and know that um, strengthen your courage, even just by telling your, your 
your inner troll buddy that you know let's let's be cool this meeting let's not make jokes about other people let's let's not talk about the customers let's not let's not you know pull revel in our inner troll energy that may be hurtful to other people let's kind of let's so you may have to be the person who lead take the lead and say i'm not gonna you know participate in the gossip today i'm not gonna yeah i'm not gonna make those comments today i'm not gonna make you know i'm not gonna give anybody's video a thumbs down or i'm, I'm just gonna really be a positive person today and um there are people who just take so much pleasure in just hurting people so <clears throat> It says, ask your body what it needs to feel wealthy. Your inner troll is saying that the reason that you have a need to snicker or criticize or make judgments or make, you know, just kind of make, you know, negative comments to other people is because you, it makes you feel good about yourself. But it's saying that ask your body, what do you need to feel wealthy? Like, what do you need? that would make you less critical of other people like what is it like <clears throat> maybe if you you know I, i'm just always using this as an example because we're on the platform of youtube maybe if, if you made your own youtube videos you would be less likely to criticize other people if you wrote your own book you'd be less likely to cr criticize other people maybe if you baked your own cookies you know sometimes the reason we we are not doing what we really want to do with our lives so we criticize and sorry and we judge other people in a negative way so that we can feel good about who we are but your inner troll is saying look why don't you ask your earth ask your body ask your being what is it that we need to feel healthy like because it's not healthy to maybe always you know kind of put other people down so the last card that i have for you in this reading it says life is a mystery embrace your fear and mistake this card just means that for a minute it means that you need to embrace the unknowingness of it all so let's just say if you stop you know snickering with your inner troll buddies you know maybe on the internet or at work the people who you get to make fun of other people and you know put people down it's just it, hey i have them right? i'm not gonna say a lot of you if you get rid of those people it's going to be a minute before you can really find somebody else that you're vibing with so sometimes when we cut ourselves off from what we're familiar with we don't find the new path right away and when we don't find that path sometimes we just go back to where we were because it's easier to go back to our old friends and our old ways so life is a mystery means that if you connect with your inner troll the part of us that's in the cave that wants to be left alone the giant or the little tiny being that lives under the bridge that's supposed to be unattractive if you connect with your inner troll your inner troll is saying we are loners and we do better when we are not hurting other people so if you could disconnect yourself from the people who, that you're around who are i don't want to say cheering you on and hurting other people or making negative comments or whatever that you are going to be by yourself and it's okay to be by yourself make peace in the unknowingness and being alone so <clears throat> i am going to see if there's an additional message from the star alien being from your inner troll so I'd like to thank them is there an additional message for this person from their inner troll the funny thing about our inner troll is that the reason we criticize, judge, or make fun of other people is because we really want to be loved. We really want attention. But we do the opposite. And we're still being fulfilled in our own way. Because when we know that we have created a reaction from a person, it makes us feel good. Even if it's a negative reaction, they notice us. 
they thought about us. For a moment, we stole their energy. We we stole we stole their thought bubble. We were on their mind. We were on the tips of their tongues. As inner trolls, we re- our inner troll <laughs> received so much power from just knowing that our words, even if they're hurtful, that we still had an impact. And the funny thing is, as much as humans claim to dislike trolls, but if you look at the internet, there are so many people who say positive things that they completely ignore. But if a person says something negative, they harp on it, they make a video about it, and they don't understand that the energy of the troll of the is a part of them as well because they could have made a video about all of the hundreds of people who said something nice but they don't think about the people who said something nice they only think about the people who said something negative so as long as people give attention to the inner troll when he is misbehaving he will always misbehave the energetic exchange in humans with the troll, with the energy of the troll will continue to grow and expand until humans realize that the best way to remove the inner troll is by ignoring it. But most humans would not do that. So my our advice to you is just understand that there's a very powerful energetic field surrounding negative comments and it's going to be very difficult to pull yourself away from it when there is so much energy and power in connecting with people through the energy of your inner troll wow Man, I didn't expect that. That's that's pretty profound. I really hope this message helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the pink butterfly... This message is for you from your inner troll. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I am going to give you an additional message from this beautiful calligraphy skull. So the first card I have for you from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And her message to you from your inner troll is looking fabulous. You don't need a reason to have fun. Oh, okay, let's finish it up. The first, my first instinct is that your inner troll feels trapped in being the serious person all the time. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara representing our throat chakra. Her message to you from your inner troll is never make an emotional decision. So child, you know when you're feeling like, oh I gotta tell this person, like that's the dumbest thing I ever heard or said. It's saying, you know, think twice about it. Think twice about, you know, don't let your emotions cause you to say hurtful things to other people. The next card I have for you coming in from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and her message to you is believe in love. Oh, so never make an emotional decision. Believe in love. And we have one more card for you coming in from your inner troll is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Lamy and her message to you is your soul signed up for this mission on earth. Find the lessons to help you evolve. 
This is such an interesting hand. So basically, your inner troll is telling you that you really need to enjoy your life more and that you really need to like kind of embrace love. I don't know if there's someone that you're interested in or maybe someone is interested in you, but your inner troll is saying believe in love, which means that believe in the goodness of people, believe in the kindness of people, and that maybe you, what you're going through in your life right now is not easy, but the minute you really take a moment to think about why you may be going through the things you're going through, you'll be able to move to the next level in terms of getting a better job or getting a better relationship. But whatever it is, it's like, don't, your your inner troll is grouchy because it feels stuck, it feels that it's in a rut, it feels that, and, and, and you're only lashing out because you're emotional, it's because you really don't feel like you're having fun and you really just feel like, you know, you feel like, you know, why didn't they just read it twice so I wouldn't have to, you know, m notice all the mistakes. Like your your inner troll is just really bogged down with being stuck in a rut and feel like you're not getting the things you want out of life. So your message from the Jungle Beauty Goddess is from your inner troll is that you really don't need a reason to have fun. Like you don't need to like wait until you have you know so much money saved or you need you're 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 not enjoying your life you're not having fun that is really why your inner troll is grouchy and this is why you are making negative comment comments or being critical or being judgmental is because you're just really not having fun and the life mission that you have selected for yourself has not been an easy one but if you can just take a moment to just look for the lessons and like I said in a previous video is maybe when you have the card from the me who represents our crown chakra that says your soul signed up for this mission on earth find a lesson to help you evolve it's like sometimes we're stuck because we honestly we're, we're so angry that you know maybe we want to be a doctor and we can't get past this one class so you know we have to like think about well is this really my mission is this what I'm supposed to be doing sometimes you may think the lesson is you need to study harder but the lesson may be you need to stand up stand up for yourself to the professor like sometimes I always tell people that sometimes the lessons that we need to take ourselves to the next level is really not the lesson that we thought you may think, oh, okay, I don't know if I should make videos, but the truth is you're not being consistent. You need to be more disciplined. You may think, oh, I don't know if this person is the right person for me, but the truth is you may need to learn how to communicate more and work out your problems and not run from your relationship. So I'm going to challenge you and say that your inner troll is very angry and upset because he or she is in an emotional rut and so all of your lashing out and all of your your negativity or your comments or being a little grouchy is because you're just unhappy and you just don't really know how to break out spirit is saying you need to look at um there are some life lessons that you need to look at and i'm just going to say this again look at the last few years of your life and see if there are any patterns and make different decisions like what i mean is if you are stuck, you may not need to stop doing what you're doing. You just need to say, well, am I being consistent? Am I disciplined? Am I standing up for myself? Usually, I am finding a lot of times people think it's the task at hand, but it's, it may be psychological and emotional decisions that you need to make differently. And also believe in love. So if you one, if you love what you're doing, you are on the right path. You just need to look at the lesson so that you can do a better job. Also, this card can also mean that you may need to there's someone in your life who may be interested in you, but you're kind of pushing them away. Um, so and so, never make an emotional decision could even mean that. You know, somebody really, you know, made you angry and there was a misunderstanding. 
but Spirit is saying you need to believe in love and maybe look at a different way to communicate and look at the lessons that you could have learned in the relationship to help improve it. And you don't need a reason to have fun. So whatever, even if it's a relationship, you really need to find joy in your life. So now I'm going to, your inner troll is saying, I need to come from under this bridge, out this cave, child. I need to have some fun. I'm grouchy because I feel like I'm stuck. Get your troll out that cave. You know, go fishing. Go do something fun. Go, you know, your, your troll is upset. Okay. So anyway, I'm sorry. I have, now I'm going to see if there's an additional message from this beautiful um, Chinese writing or um, skull. Thank you for coming. Is there an additional message for this person from their inner troll? Let go of the past. You're holding on to all mistakes that no longer apply to who you are. You are afraid that you're going to repeat the same mistakes. And this is why you cannot move forward. When people think of a troll... They think of a being that lives under a cave or in a cave or under a bridge. This is what we want you to do. We want you to imagine what your inner troll looks like and to love it, to just embrace it. And then we want you to move to a new cave in your mind. So we want you to pack up all of your things under the bridge or in the cave with your with your inner troll and then we want you to take your things and we want you to travel really far away to someplace really super beautiful really beautiful and we want you to find a new bridge with flowers and trees and butterflies and everything that's beautiful and gorgeous and we want you to go in your new cave and we want you to decorate it with all of your favorite colors and all of your favorite things do this mentally because it is time for you to embrace a new environment that is more positive. Just do this and you will see changes that will begin to happen. Let go of the past and that is the symbolic move if you move into a new cave. The mistakes of the past no longer apply to you. Learn the lessons and keep moving. Wow, that was a really good message. Anyway, I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.